Hi, this is Mark Vina with Smart Tech Research. I'm at CES 2025 in Las Vegas with an old friend who has been on my podcast before, Sam Jaha. Did I pronounce it properly, Sam? Yes. Oh, Sam, I, I, I get a prize. <laughs> Sam is the EVP of IoT and Wireless Compute. Well, IoT, Compute, and Wireless? Yes. Let me get the order Compute wrong. Computer and Wireless. But I got yeah. the right things in there. That's right. <laughs> You know, I've said this before, uh, Infineon has a very, very expansive family of, um, of solutions, not just the stuff that you work on um, and, and have responsibility for. You play in a lot of different categories. We're going to see a really a bunch of cool demos here in the Venetian. But let's first of all talk a little bit about the importance of CES, the yeah. partners you'll probably yeah. uh, end up meeting. You probably can't name many of them <laughs> because yeah. a lot of the technologies that Infineon does – they are an ingredient company, and they do show up in other people's products, products that you probably already have in your home, for that matter. But let's just talk about the strategic um, uh, reasons why CES is such an important event for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Uh, first of all, great to see you again. And uh, yeah. I'm glad you're now becoming a resident of Nevada and <laughs> of Vegas. So, you should, you should uh, tell people that. Yeah. Oh, all sure right. We can, you can take it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, really for me, CES is one of the most important events that I really enjoy coming to for the simplest reason is you get to meet a lot of your customers live. It saves us lots and lots of trips. And it's great to really showcase, first of all, using some of our demos, showcase our products to our customers live and really spend some quality time with our customers. And that's super important. I mean, yes, of course, people are featuring their new products and new gadgets, we, which we try to do as well. But it's more about that human connection that you get with the customers. So. Well, when I try to tell people too, who, and this is, I think, CES number 30 for me, which is kind of scary. And then, then it was Comdex before then. But what's great about CES is you, have to get, you, you ha really have to come to this event with all the people that show up, and they'll probably get 120,000, 130,000 people, and you'll bump into people that you haven't seen in several years, and that actually is a benefit because you'll sit down with those folks, and there may be a business opportunity that comes out of that. So it's really the ultimate networking event. Absolutely. I actually, like you mentioned, I love like all the ex-employees that we worked with and friends and colleagues that you run into them. It's like, hey, what have you been up to? I mean, also networking in addition to, uh, in addition to really meeting with the customers. So I love it. Now, like before we see the demos, any a couple of trends you want to talk about, just marketplace trends, because the great thing about Infineon is because you are a design yeah. win type of company, you kind of have visibility into what the yeah. market's doing yeah. 12 months, 18 yeah. months before. So any couple of things you want yeah. to talk about? Yeah, so for me, the most important trend, what we're seeing is, you know, everybody talks about AI. So what we're seeing is edge, AI. What is edge AI? AI. I've never heard of it. And that's right, yeah. yeah. So edge AI is a way for for many new products to become smarter and better and more reliable. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a big increase trend-wise in like every company wanting to do that. For example, you got the guy that's making an air conditioner, right? The air conditioner is running perfectly in his where and when he's setting it up in production. But when you take it and put it in a home, well, maybe the frequency is not perfect. So then you want to use AI to really fine tune it so then it doesn't vibrate or doesn't make noise. Uh, this is where you want to use some AI to do that. Mm. Other examples, you know, elevators, you want to do prediction of whether you need to do maintenance on it and all that. So it's really helping many things just get a little bit better. And, and with, with some, I call it low end AI or not necessarily paying tons of money for it. And we're certainly seeing a lot of increase in those uh, applications where people want that just a little bit extra or even improving vision or speech recognition, right? So, you you know, you want to make your coffee maker a little bit smarter, right? So you want you want it to recognize, like, how many words can you, do you need to make, uh, you know, to tell a machine to make coffee for you, like 500 words or something right. like that times 100 languages, but also times all the accents. So it can recognize Mark's accent from Sam's accent. And and um, so you want to use a little bit of AI to help you there yep. by training, you know, training it. So it's just about making life easier, easier. and smarter and more reliable. Well, and, you, yeah. and I want to jump into these demos. What's interesting about AI, I mean, that's kind of the cool phrase that's been bounced around. Sure. The truth of the matter is, You've been doing AI-like capability, whether it's machine language, right. whether it's algorithms that are embedded yeah. into the, into the microcode for for many years. So yeah. this is not like a surprise. It's more if it's a branding thing. Yeah. Well, it's it's more than branding. Actually, it's like actually making models, really teaching you know teaching the models, telling the difference, and also 
being able to apply it. And I think that's what's different right now. Right. It's like with a little bit of extra, you know, um, uh, com- you know, compilation and a little bit of extra compute, you can actually do a some lot man, more. Some amazing it. things. Yeah, you can do some. So it's, it's, you know, it's an extra, you know, I call it bullet that you can use to make your products yeah. better. So Well, you get me really excited. So let's yeah. get to the demos right. and uh, we'll sounds, be back soon. Sounds good. Thank you. Hi again, Mark Vita with Smart Tech Research. Sam is going to show us uh, two or three really very cool demos. Let's get yeah. the first one, Sam. All right, Mark. So the first demo is what I call about system solution. It's taking uh, a combination of different Infineon products and trying to put them to good use. So here in this demo, we have a radar, 60 gigahertz radar, which is really the best product that Infineon has in, in, in this category, along with Wi-Fi, which is our best Wi-Fi, and it's used as a system solution to detect uh, presence in the homes. Mm -hmm. So as you could see here on this phone, um, it will, uh, depending on your position, it'll tell you where you are. And it, it, what happens is the Wi-Fi is always on and the radar is asleep, but it, it wakes up as soon as there's movements and then it tells you where you are and then it uploads the data and sends it to the cloud. And then this way, if you're not home and you want to say, Hey, somebody woke up and is moving my house, etc., It tells you, it gives you, we'll send you an it, alert. it'll send you an alert. Right. So, uh, so this is, you know, the power of combining, um, different products and make it easier for our customers to actually just deal with one supplier, you know, to buy different products. This is more for like, I call it home usage or, or uh, you know, smart homes. Smart homes, yes. Type of applications, right? So uh, you're not worrying about privacy here in this case. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Okay, here's off demo number two, which is going to be really cool because I sort of preview this before we started, but Sam, give it a shot. All right. So here I'm going to start showing you the power of what we call Edge AI and what it means and how we could use it. So our thinking at Infineon is that if you can make Edge AI cheaper, there will be a lot more applications for it, a lot more usage. So what we're trying to do is using an MCU instead of an MPU mm-hmm. and a lower system solution, lower power, lower cost, trying to be able to do both voice and vision recognition. So here in this demo, you could see if you move, um, so here we have object detection. So we have a model that we train to tell you the difference between an orange and an apple and all that. So why don't you take one out and or put an apple here and you can see, oh, it tells you it's an apple that gets added. Take the orange out and then, you know, put it back in. That is amazing. So, this is amazing. Yeah. So if you're at a scanner at a, you know, at a, I don't know, shopping and then it can just do this for you and then, and then makes it easier and faster. Uh, and this is all running locally. This, this is, is a, running at the edge right here. So you no need to send data to the cloud. The cloud. And, and this will matter a lot, you know, especially for low power application. And, and that's really one of the advantages that we have with our, uh, PSOC Edge. Uh, well, you can, you can conjure up a number of applications yeah, for this. That's yeah. fantastic, yeah. right? So the idea here for this demo is um, we have bought a company called Imagimob. And there we have a uh, deep craft studio, which we introduced, which what we're doing is it does training of the models. And um, in this case, um, we trained it to recognize the siren uh, sound. So even if in a very noisy environment, while people are talking or cars are honking or whatever, it tells you if there's an ambulance coming or you know, a police car coming so you can pull to the side of the road. So what we do uh, with this company, they can actually make models for the, you know, for the customer and, and um, or, you know, as you can see in our other application, we can do, um, Either the customer themselves can bring in the models or we can models for them. And that's why I call it uh, trying to offer an end-to-end machine learning solution. And um, and that's what we're trying to do, be able to enable that option and make it work. So here it can always detect the, um, you know, the, the sound despite all the noise and people well, are talking and you can see applications them, so. for this obviously in the car yeah. applications even at, even at the yeah. home or businesses that's great yeah that's fantastic so. and the accuracy i imagine is oh that's 100 yeah. percent. yeah and that's why i mean if you really maybe not in a podcast we can just have a lot of people talking and then he can show you on the phone that it's actually really detecting whether there's uh alarm or not so uh it's a it's a really uh 
really cool uh, demo. And, and we're building on that. So there's many other applications beyond Siren. You got baby crying. You got- Oh, there's uh, a number of uses. You got models. snoring. I mean, it tells you, okay, is the guy have sleep apnea problems? Yes or no, et cetera. So, I mean, we're building a lot of models to, you know, to, to start. There's many more usages of where you can take advantage of this. Well, and the great thing is your partners are do a really nice job of conjuring up usage models that you may not even contemplate. That's right. So that's cool. Well, yeah. thank you very much. All right, sure.